Hello friends, today we are going to see, discuss what is 1 pi c, okay, 1 pi c is what, okay, it is a unit of coefficient of viscosity, okay, it is a unit, so unit of coefficient of viscosity, 1 pi c, we can take it as a 9 second by centimeter square. Today in this video, we are going to discuss how 1 pi c is 9 second by centimeter square. That is the thing we are going to discuss. If you like my channel, please subscribe, okay. Uh, see, 1 pi c is 9 second by centimeter square. How they got this value, okay. First, we should know what is the coefficient of friction, okay. Uh, so, we have the surface here. The liquid is flowing like this. The liquid is keep on flowing, okay. Uh, so, when the length is increasing, uh, the velocity is also going to increase. We will take it. This is a V distance from the surface, okay. It is uh, it's X distance from the surface, V velocity, okay. And small length I increased, okay. It is, uh, it is a del X I increased, okay. And the same del V is going to V plus del V. The velocity is going to increase as a del V. It is called velocity gradient. So, velocity increasing with respect to the distance, okay. It is called velocity gradient. So, velocity gradient, some gradient meaning is something is changing with respect to the length, okay. Uh, so, velocity gradient we got as a V, dV by dx is a velocity gradient, okay. So, what is the relation between poise and velocity gradient? That is the thing we are going to discuss here, okay. Uh, so, friction force, internal friction of the liquid, it is a coefficient of internal friction of the liquid uh, is directly proportional to friction force of the liquid is directly proportional to area of the liquid flowing. Like uh, that means like a pipe, how much thick, how much area is going to flow and velocity gradient dv by dx. So, whenever you are introducing the new term, its coefficient of viscosity is the new term. So, whenever you are introducing the new term, you should equivalent the constant, okay. Here constant term, we can take it as a eta that is called coefficient of viscosity, a times of dv by dx. <coughs> I am bringing this as a denominator. So, coefficient of viscosity is equal to f divided by a dv by dx, okay. So, now we are discussing what is 1 pi c. So, we will take it the unit of coefficient of viscosity is the pi c. Okay, the a unit of coefficient of viscosity is the pi c. Okay, force, force is a mass into acceleration. Okay, so we can take it everything is in a CGS system, CGS system centimeter gram second. Okay, force, force is in the mass into acceleration. Okay, area, area is the length into breadth. Okay, and uh, velocity, velocity is a uh, uh, displacement by time. And displacement, again we have the displacement again, okay, uh, displacement of the liquid. This is the equation we have. Now I am going to teach you what is the unit of each one, okay. First we will take it, 1 pi c is equal to, it is a coefficient of viscosity SI unit, okay. 1 pi c is equal to the mass SI unit in CGS system, centimeter gram second, it is a gram. Acceleration, acceleration is a velocity by time, so it is a displacement uh, by time square. So we will get as a acceleration unit is a, centimeter by second square acceleration si unit will be centimeter unit will be centimeter by second square acceleration unit will be centimeter by second square from denominator length breadth both we can measure in a centimeter centimeter no need to take it as in a si unit take it everything is in a cgs unit okay uh, displacement is in a centimeter time is in a second okay and the denominator oh, this denominator will get as a centimeter okay so this centimeter this centimeter get cancelled the second i am taken as a numerator okay the second i am taken as a numerator so we'll get gram centimeter second minus two this centimeter i am taken numerators gram centimeter second minus two and this whole thing we can call it is a dyne this whole thing we can call is a dyne okay uh, so this second is a denominator denominator directly will come into the numerator so dyne into second will get divided by centimeter 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 square so we got as a dyne uh, second divided by centimeter square. So, this whole thing we can call it is a 1 pi c. Okay. So, whole thing we can call it is a 1 pi c. It is a unit of uh, CGS system. Okay. CGS system centimeter gram second. What is a unit of coefficient of viscosity that is called we can take it as a pi c. Okay. Thank you. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Okay.